You're watching Lehigh Valley Sports Scene on Service Electric Tube Sports. Salisbury and Saucon Valley are two of the teams considered likely candidates to be part of the Colonial League Tournament next month. The Falcons were coming off their first league loss of the season, a 5-1 setback to Powerhouse Northwestern last Wednesday. The Panthers handed the Tigers their only loss of the season last Thursday. We take you to Falcon Stadium, Saucon Valley checking in with a 6-0 record, the only unbeaten team left in the league. Salisbury was 6-1. And you know you're going to get some scoring from this gal, Mackenzie Groff. She's attacking here from the left side, finds the front, and right in the corner there for a one to nothing lead midway through the first half for Salisbury. Second half, Maura Groff as she finds some room on the left side this time, and she's going to angle it nicely right there and find the back of the net to give Salisbury a two to nothing lead. Her 25th goal of the season that leads the area, but Ashley Nagy would have. Uh, open room right here as she finds room on the right side and far corner there from Abby Backenstow with the assist and that cut the lead. South Great lead the two to one. Now Lauren Bin, she's going to weave her way through some midfield traffic here. Some nice footwork here and she'll boom one here. In the far corner and that tied it up. Two two. We go to overtime. Another overtime game. Now, Ben's going to come up with a nice chance in OT here, but her shot is wide right. Meanwhile, Jordan Camp, who assisted on Groff's first goal, had 17 saves in this one. This one ends in a 2-2 tie. We were, we were disappointed in our first half effort. Um, Salisbury is a very feisty team. They came out, they played with a lot of heart, and they definitely put the pressure on us. And uh, we thought if we could come out the second half with a little more fire under us, a little better possession, we could get opportunities. Unfortunately, right away they scored and we went down two zip, um, which is disappointing. But you could see that, you know, my team doesn't give up. We don't back down. And we came back and we were able to tie it up. We just played a very good team. They're a very, they, they beat Northwestern this year, okay? They, they, they are a top team, if not the top team in the Colonial League. Um, they are a very proud team. They kept coming at us, and uh, we got a little bit tired, a little bit slack in, in at certain positions, and they took advantage. They started coming down our throats. Uh, thank goodness we had a spectacular effort from our goalkeeper tonight. Uh, I don't know how many saves she had, but she had some incredible saves tonight. And our defense actually held very nicely. I mean, in spite of the fact that we gave up those two goals, um, they did a lot of nice things back there. They really thwarted them quite often for how many times they came down our throats. Uh, the, de the defenders did a nice job, I thought, so so I was pretty happy with that. Meanwhile, the Nazareth boys soccer team traveling to Parkland last night.